Begin by removing the Examiner Elite verifier from the packaging and taking out the power cables. There will be three separate power cables. Next, we'll remove the verifier stand from the box. Place the Examiner Elite verifier into the stand by sliding it in from the top and then securing it with the screw knobs. We'll start by plugging in the communications cable, which has the RJ45 connector on one end and a 9-pin connector on the other end. Plug the RJ45 connector into the base of the verifier. Once that has been plugged in, take the AC adapter and plug it into the back side of the 9-pin connector on the communications cable. The third and final cable will plug into the actual black box of the AC adapter and then plugged into a wall outlet. This cable setup will provide direct AC power to the Examiner Elite Verifier. If you would like to operate the Examiner Elite Verifier on battery power, there is a battery compartment on the back side of the verifier where you can install four AA batteries into the unit. If you have the optional printer, remove the printer from the packaging and take out the printer power cables. Begin by plugging the AC power cable into the back of your printer. Then take the secondary power cable and plug it into the black box of the AC power cable. Next, plug the power cable into your wall outlet. In order to complete the connection, you'll need to plug the verifier communications cable into the printer. Before using the printer, you'll want to install the printer paper. Open the printer lid Drop the paper roll in with the paper facing forward and up. Now, power on your printer and the Examiner Elite Verifier.